right upper lobe collapse left lower lobe collapse left lower lobe pneumonia endobronchial growth in the right upper lobe bronchus all of the following diagnoses are possible except except is an important word over here now let's see a 65 year old chronic smoker presented with complaint of cough weight loss hemoptysis breathlessness since 3 months a frontal chest radiograph was done which revealed that the right hilum is situated at a higher level than the left hilum okay so what is happening is if i just draw the chest x ray over here now we know okay let me draw it over here we know that the normally right hilum is lower in comparison to the left hilum okay now what is happening here right hilum is higher okay right hilum is higher now what could be the reason the reason is either the right hilum is pulled up or the left hilum is pulled down there could be two reason either the right hilum is pulled up or the left hilum is pulled down now let's see right upper lobe collapse if there is a collapse of the right upper lobe right hilum will pulled up so this could be the cause left lower lobe collapse if the left lower lobe will go will undergo collapse the left hilum will pull down and that could be there left lower lobe pneumonia pneumonia is a consolidation it does not change the volume and that could be the answer endobronchial growth in the right upper lobe bronchus if the upper lobe bronchus undergoes uh, has a growth it will lead to the collapse of the right upper lobe and the right hilum will pulled up so this cannot be the answer so what is the answer left lower lobe pneumonia okay so this was an understanding based question if you know why the hilum is getting pulled up or not only then you will be able to solve this particular question patient present with hematuria and flank pain and history of tuberculosis is present ct scan is given what is the associated feature of urinary bladder in this condition now what do you see first see this is a non contrast ct scan look at the aorta i told you how to identify an ncct from a cct if the vessels are exactly similar to the muscle it's a non contrast ct if the vessel is white than the muscle it's a contrast and ct if it's a non contrast ct what is this structure look on the other side this is a left kidney if this is left kidney this has to be right kidney and now this right kidney is completely calcified now if the kidney is so calcified this is cemented kidney or a putty kidney a cemented kidney or a putty kidney Now, putty kidney is a feature of renal tb the renal tb now the question is what is the finding of renal tb or uh, of the tb in urinary bladder so this is thimble bladder and that is the answer this is thimble bladder there is nothing called as putty bladder in fact it is to be noted a small contracted bladder is called as thimble bladder which is seen in tb as well as schistosomiasis a schistosomiasis shows calcification in the bladder but tb does not show calcification in the bladder okay christmas tree bladder is a feature of neurogenic bladder okay and you don't have a corkscrew bladder you have a corkscrew ureter which is a feature of genitourinary tb so the answer is thimble bladder a power doppler finding in a 26 year old female is suggestive of Now first let's look at what do we see Now what you are seeing is a cystic lesion with some amount of solid component in the periphery with lot of vascularity in the periphery like a ring Now if you see a lesion which is a predominantly a cystic lesion with a vascularity in the periphery of it this is classically has been labeled as ring of fire appearance the ring of fire appearance and which is a very very useful sign that we use in our report to confirm ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy now please remember the most useful sign of ectopic pregnancy is if you see a viable embryo in a gestational sac outside the uterine cavity now if you see this then it goes without a doubt that you are dealing with the case of ectopic pregnancy but in majority of the cases it doesn't happen and what you see in an adexna is a complex solid cystic lesion now this complex solid solid cystic lesion could be anything and then this sign is a very very useful sign to identify that you are dealing with a case of ectopic pregnancy obviously the clinical features uh, also play an important role including along with the beta hcg level